Okay, so we're going to show you how to install Textron uh, for uh, T1 software for doing your personal returns. Uh, we don't have the 2013 uh, software available quite yet for uh, download. So we'll go to the product download page. We'll go down to Textron T1 for individuals. You can try it for free. And because I'm on a Windows machine, I'm seeing the Windows uh, choices automatically. If you were on Mac, you'd see Mac. Uh, we have download Taxtron T1 uh, 2012, and that's the one we're going to use today. So we're going to click on that. Ask me if I want to run or save it, and I want to save. And I've got a really fast connection here, so it'll just take two, a few seconds or so. Okay, my antivirus software doesn't uh, complain. Sometimes your, if your antivirus uh, package is a little overzealous in its protection, it will cause issues, so you may have to disable it before you download. Uh, I found Norton doesn't do that for me, so I, I didn't bother. Uh, so we finished downloading it. So once we've done that, we run the program. And it says, do you want to allow the following program to make changes to the computer? We say yes. Now, with Windows XP users, you'll also need, as it says here, the .NET Framework version 2 or higher from Microsoft. You have to install that first. Um, and the link here will actually take you to the page to do that. Um, if you are using Windows 8 and you don't have .NET Framework automatically installed by the system already, it will automatically go to install it during the installation process. Uh, I'm on Windows 7, so it doesn't do that, but it's actually built, in, .NET Framework is actually built in, so I don't need to do this step. So we go here, click on English. If I were uh, French, I obviously would click on French. That's in terms of the license agreement. Go here, keep going next. It'll take a few seconds or so. As you can see, it's really easy. There's not really any uh, any intervention on the user required here. Just uh, basically keep clicking next until you get to the end. And it even gives you an option to run Taxtron at the end. Uh, once you do that, we'll hit Finish. I'll minimize the browser window, and you'll see we have a desktop shortcut here. Take a few seconds from the first time it runs. And as you can see, we're good to go. And then we can just uh, click on, uh, since this will be the first time we've run it, we would click on Create New Return. And then we put in our information and we're uh, off to the races. Anyway, that's all to show you basically with installing the program. It's uh, just that easy.